Well, we've nearly made it to the end of term. And if you're in year one too, I hope you were proud as punch to see your seaside and bird inspired artwork on display during this week's creative art sharing. You are tremendous artists. And in fact, year two, I've taken my inspiration from you because having seen the phenomenal flocks of creativity across the dining hall, a bit like that little chap there, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we all had a go using stuff we have sitting around the house, potentially. One key resource is your trusty old egg box to use to turn into something completely different. How would you turn an egg box into a bird? We'll follow along today to see how. And the nice thing is if you have another one, you can use that as your palette for the decoration. So you need to gather together a couple of different egg boxes and some scissors, glue, colouring materials and even potentially some googly eyes. Let's see where we start. As ever, when using cutting materials like scissors, you be sure to ask the adult at home for permission. This is the bare bones of my bird prior to being decorated. Can you see the two eyes and the little nose there? Plus wings. Let me show you how. You begin by cutting the lid, removing the lid from the outbox and that little bit that folds in to secure the lid. And then you cut along this point. You want to cut under the point which forms your beak. So I'm taking off the fold that secures the lid to the body of the box and then cutting under these two sort of dipped in areas that will form my eyes, including the point of the beak. So the bits where the eggs sit nested in, those two, keep them together. I'm just trimming round to create more of an expressive bird face, making the eyes more apparent. There we go, two eyes and a wee beak. Now we turn the lid into the bird body, including feet. Again, cutting around the edge and trimming any bits of the card that are fluffy and stick out. I'm going to do the same on the other side, working around that hole. After the first rough cut, you can go back over and neaten and sharpen up your lines. That is important. There we go. Trying to make it symmetrical. That means the same on both sides. I'm cutting rough feet. It's a bit of a short little bird, this guy. And using another egg box now to decorate. it. You can paint, or as Sylvia is showing us, you can include materials you have lying around the house, like buttons and markers that make very, very vibrant decorations. I've got a whole host of different fabrics here. I was amused when I saw I had some penguin fabric lying around. Imagine that on my bird. And some fruity ones, which I'm collaging using scissors and glue. You can also use tissue paper and colour, block colour, using things like crayons felt tips. I keep my scrappy crayons because they're always useful for activities like this. Sylvie is now adorning her bird head with this amazing watercolour painted feather using her glue stick. Look at that gorgeous floral design and the dotty wings. Tommy and Ali on the other hand are working with oil pastels to block in colour for the breast of the bird and then overlapping that they put various fabrics and buttons for the eyes. 
spectacular. How will your birds turn out? Share with me at share it at londonsoutharthub.org as always. And maybe even we can bring some of your wee birds into conversation with each other. Do feel free to bring them into school and introduce them to me.